What's going on everyone going to the history and coming to you here from a small subdivision in Green Cove Springs, Florida because this is the location of a very famous place that's kind of been lost to history. Back in 1970s, early 1970s, the rock band Leonard Skinner came to uh, this small little tin roof farmhouse barn right here in Green Cove Springs and they would record some of their biggest tracks ever. Freebird, Sweet Home Alabama, Don't Ask Me No Questions, and so much more. It was all filmed, it was all recorded here in this small little house right by the river of the Black Creek. So we're gonna go check it out. There's now a marker it's commemorating its location. We're gonna check it out. Subscribe, come on. Okay, so I just went onto the property, went down to the creek, to the Black River, and and the uh, the placard that was placed for the nonprofit who bought the property is no longer there. So I don't know if he sold the property to somebody else and they're going to build some houses. There's some uh, construction debris off to the side, so I'm really not sure. Um, there's some families coming out from some of the neighboring properties, so I didn't want to disturb them any. So I will drive by, may take a couple video shots of the lot, but there is no sign there anymore. I wanted to spend a little bit more time there than I did, but again, you know, the sign's missing and, you know, you want to respect other people's privacy, so you don't want to take and, uh, the people going out, you know, it's Saturday, people want to be able to take and enjoy themselves and, you know, going out on our adventures, you know, we don't want to, to disrupt people's, uh, lives to do so, so definitely one of the number one thing to do is be respectful, especially when you're going out to these different locations, so. I'm going to take and drive by, take a couple of video shots, and unfortunately that's probably going to be it for the location of where the Hell House was, where they filmed all these, or recorded all these different uh, amazing songs from the original tracks here in Jacksonville, well technically Green Cove Springs, Florida. So we'll drive by and take a couple of video shots. Let's check it out. So right here is the location of the Hell House, straight down there. Black Creek, the little tin roof house was right there, and they performed, recorded some of the best, probably songs in Southern rock history. Happened right here. The plaque is missing, unfortunately. But to be able to take and come here and walk and stand where these amazing people stood is an amazing test, testament, so. Yeah. As I was uh, turning down one of the roads, there's actually a sign that says Free Bird Way, which I find to be really cool. At the, you know, small little testament that they're paying to the fact that this was a location of where this house was. It's kind of unfortunate that the placard is missing. I went down there, I looked, it should be right down on the bottom of, by, the, by the creek, and it's not. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it was kind of cool though, like some of the different names of the roads in this development. But, but yeah, so I just wanted to take and take a moment to go and check it out. I was hoping the placard would have been there and we could have done a little bit more filming. Again, you know, Saturday morning people are out going out on the river and everything. So, you know, you, you want to be, you have to be respectful of people and their privacy. But. Right there, Freebird Loop. Super cool, you know, that they're paying this slight little bit of homage to the Leonard Skinner group. The memorial for the group is not uh, far from here. And the final resting place of Ronnie Van Zant is not far from here either. The, uh, the highest school is probably about 20 minutes away or so. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Again, it was, the goal was to make it a lot more informative to actually go to the sites and really spend some time. But unfortunately, um, the placard is missing and I do not want to, you know, people going out, you know, people want to be able to take them out and the better stuff. I don't want to take them and disrupt people's afternoons. But I'll insert a couple clips of what the placard looked like as well as what down by the, the water looked like as well. Because it definitely is quite peaceful. You definitely can see how the group was able to get together and just write some really good good songs 
So as always, Botanical History and Film, subscribe to the channel. You know, this isn't 100% what I was hoping for it to be, but again, it's still to be able to go check out a, a location out of music history. Definitely was fitting. So, until next time, have a great day, everyone.